I'm back in my truck. Welcome everybody to another daily vlog. A Glasky daily vlog. A vlog that happens daily? I don't know. Sometimes late at night, sometimes back in the environment, my travel environment of my Kenworth. Getting ready to head out up to North Carolina real fast. I, I don't know where I'm going from there, but it, hopefully somewhere fun and exciting like the last couple days have been. Have I been? Have I been? I, boy, I'm beat. I can't even talk straight. Not that I really ever could anyway. Anyway, so this is just going to be a quick vlog. I need to catch up some, on some sleep. Man, these last couple days have been insane. Everything from Blue Man Groups to theme parks to City Walk, Adult Fun, Downtown Kissimmee, Old Town Kissimmee, Styled Adult Fun, uh, Universal Disney. It, it's I I was going. I swear. I'm I'm not lying to you. You you could go to people in my feed that were there. I'd wake up about eight o'clock in the morning, go to bed about five o'clock in the morning, sleep for two or three hours, wake up at eight o'clock in the morning do it all again and do it all again it was pretty insane so I'm kind of happy to be back at work I really am I'm happy to be able to stretch out on my own bed though it's not as comfortable as Cabana Bay I real this this video is pretty much just a big thank you to everybody that did some pretty amazing stuff for me and uh, Cabana Bay just the resort itself did a lot of stuff for me so all the staff and uh, from the front desk to poolside bartenders, you guys rock. Every time I come home, you know I appreciate you, right? It, it, I appreciate you guys. But there's a couple people, well, there's quite a few people I just want to thank by name. Let's go ahead and start with last to first. So we're going to start with the last person first, the person who was really amazing. I mean, this person, I'm gonna cross my legs because, oh, I don't have a hot tub to soak them in right now. Oh, I need to go back to the Cabana Bay. Anyway, so, I hope I get the name of this attraction right. Uh, Meordium Manor, it's a haunted house. Meordium Manor, Mor Mortem, Mortem, Mortem Manor, I think it is, Mortem. Anyway, so, it is a incredible, haunted roadside attraction there's like three of them in the world the original one is in old town Kissimmee, and then they have another one somewhere up in pennsylvania i'm gonna have to actually go to their website and they probably have a facebook uh page also so if you guys want to check them out you really should and their third location i believe is inside the dubai mall in dubai which is in dubai Anyway, I guess they got a huge mall in Dubai, similar to Mall of America. Kind of competition thing. Who's bigger? Who's bigger? So, I would really like to fly to Dubai one time and, and check that out. But, <clears throat> if you guys watched my video about that haunted attraction, there was a little cute, little sweet British girl working there that... <sighs> Only if I was younger. Only if I was younger, Mary Jane... God, and you have the perfect name, too. Anyway, so, this she was amazing. She was incredible. We got the crowds going. We got people coming into the place. I was giving away free Barry, Get Buried Alive tickets. And then when I was out, they had me do it. And uh, the interaction between the staff and the customers, and it is a win-win. Anybody in the Orlando area, Kissimmee, St. Cloud, show your support. Go to this roadside attraction. It's right on Main Street in Old Town. Anyway, I got tons of phone numbers. Phone numbers, names, email addresses. I can't show them. Don't look. Don't look at the phone numbers. They're mine. I, I, I've been getting to know most of these people for quite a while. So, I... I I just don't think I ever thanked any of them in, you know, proper thank you for every time I come home, you guys make my, you know, it's really important. Your, your serving staff, your wait staff, everybody take care of those people because they make you have great experiences. Like Erica, 
Erica at Pat O'Brien's. My other friend Paige went home a little bit early, so uh, I met Erica, and she promised to be my babysitter out here on the road, so I stay out of trouble. I won't get arrested anymore. She uh, is might even take care of my website, along with uh, a customer that came and sat with us. Uh, uh, but let's do this in order. Erica, you rock. Thank you. I will be calling you tomorrow. You are amazing. Uh, and so, if you're at Universal Studios, hit Pat O'Brien's. Next up was a customer named Barb from Claremont. Her and her husband asked if they could sit with us because the place was just jammed, packed, packed at the piano bar. And uh, so when people sit with you, you start talking, you find out what people do for a living, and uh, come to find out, these beautiful people that sat with us, we could do stuff for each other too. So I will be calling you tomorrow too, Barb. Uh, it was incredible meeting you guys. Uh, you got, it, I, Isn't it fun when you go out and you just meet total strangers and you kind of become friends? That's, that's my life. Next up... Samurai Susie Diane over at the Hard Rock. Uh, she works in the store area down or on the first floor. Well, I guess it'd be level because it goes down another floor. It goes up a couple floors, goes down a floor. Well, the gift shop area. She is a awesome girl. Awesome! And uh, yes, I will be bringing you some more stuff when I come back. So, Diane... Thank you so much for making everything incredible. Someone I just met for the first time who's only going to be at the Hard Rock for another week. Ariel. She is leaving next week. And she is going to be working. And I cannot pronounce the name of this. But if anybody's going to be going to Disney Springs. So if you park in the green lot. Uh, Disney Springs, downtown Disney, now has parking garages. They're, they're different colors. It, it, I call it Lime. Some people call it green, some people call it lime. If you park in the lime slash green lot, uh, go downstairs, go directly into Disney Springs or downtown Disney that way, and continue going straight. Don't turn right or left. Just continue going straight. That's what she told me. And this restaurant, let's see if we can get it to focus here. Oh, God. Maybe my camera smudged. Whatever that is. She's going to be taking care of me and all of you at this place. This place right there. It's probably backwards. Who knows? So you guys go check out Ariel. She'll be starting work next week. She's leaving Hard Rock. Everybody's left leaving Hard Rock. Uh, Andrea, she's already quit and working across the street. Uh, but her boyfriend still works there, so that's cool. Okay. Now, Dalmatian Girl. Even though I didn't get one of your dogs this time and you got rid of them way too early, you're still one of my favorites. Thank you for my birthday surprise and making the evening incredible. Yeah. But you still know that I'm never going to be able to pronounce your name ever. Ever? So I'm just going to call you Stacy. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that's. But you're amazing. You, you're, you really are. And I'm really sorry last night I couldn't hook up with you guys down on iDrive. I was beat after hanging out at uh, Old Town. We spent most of the day at Animal Kingdom, went over to Old Town Kissimmee, and I'm an old, I'm an old man. I'm old. And hanging around you youngsters would give me a heart attack. Rocco! Rocco! He has been working at the Hard Rock Live in Orlando for over 25 years. The dude is awesome. Rocco, I'll be calling you tomorrow so we can collaborate and do some awesome things. Uh, it was incredible. I mean, I've... My son actually pointed out, we've met you a million times, but we never interacted like we did this time. So thank you for everything. You two made my birthday. Earth Day. Birthday. Earth Day's coming up. I was listening to the radio. So. But yeah, no, you made my birthday awesome too. So thank you, Rocco. Stacy, I already had your phone number. Why did you give it to me again? And your address. I already have all that. And I already thanked you. Ashley, where were you? Two days, you never showed up. I heard when I checked into the hotel, I was coming to get coming to see you and give you some stuff. 
you left work one minute after I arrived. I did not even see you walk out the door. Otherwise, I would have tackled you and dragged you back in. But you always make everything extremely awesome there. Talk Dre into coming back. Because she does the same. Uh, Diane thanked her at the beginning because she's always incredible too. So that's all the people that make my life great on my days off work. Instead of sitting at home, cleaning house, mowing grass, all that stuff, I'd much rather just hang out with you guys and let everything else just kind of fade away. Let nature take care of itself, if, I guess. Anyway, so that is about it. Oh, let me show you now that, uh, let me see if I can find it. Move my speaker. I gotta move my speaker. I did show this on another vlog, but everybody at the Hard Rock, this was my birthday present. It's gray, so you probably won't be able to see it, but every single employee signed my shirt and then uh, they gave it to me. Uh, beat my son, my son, it was my son's idea. Now there's only two numbers or names and stuff I don't have on here and that's Andrea because she now works across the street and Samantha, get your pin. I gave it to, to Andrea's boyfriend. He's supposed to give it to you so make sure you get that. Uh, I know you were working a, a live event so you couldn't sign it and I was supposed to go out to dinner and drinks with you guys last night. I couldn't make it. Like I said, I'm old. My feet were tired. I had to soak in a hot tub. So anyway, anybody that watches these videos hits the theme parks and, and just enjoys restaurants, dining, and people watching and stuff like that, remember this video, remember those people's names, tip your waiter staff and waitress staff good, take care of them, they will take care of you. It's true. All right, everybody, like I said, nothing to vlog here. It's time to go back to work. Actually, it's time to go to bed and tomorrow morning start my job. So until then, I love you guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, P.S. Uh, there's a female truck driver out there uh, that I met a few months ago at a roadside rest area in Kentucky. That mansion, if you go back to my videos, you'll see a mansion, a Kentucky mansion. Uh, I met a, a female driver there. That is a YouTuber. If you go, it, well, obviously you're already on YouTube, so it's as simple as going up to that search bar right up there and typing in the word, <coughs> oh, after I'm finished coughing here, the flatbed chick. Check, check her out. Uh, actually, she even talked about me in one of her videos, one of the last videos. So make sure you check her out. I'll go ahead and put a link to one of her videos, the video that she talked about me in, in the description box. Just click it. But she is an actual truck driver. Me, I just hold a steering wheel. That Her videos are more geared towards what it's like to be a truck driver. My videos are geared towards really nothing. Nothing like they do and like she does. So if you want to see some truck driving videos and what it's like for... I find it awesome to kind of watch her videos and see what it's like for the life of a female truck driver out here on the roads of America. So if you want to see stuff like that... Her content is much better than mine, and it really is. And she's an amazing person. And also, thank you, Flatbed Chick, for uh, talking about me in one of your videos and linking a couple of my videos in your channel. I really do appreciate it. You're you're amazing. All right, I am out of here, guys. I'm going to siesta. I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Peace, everybody. I'm still recording. I'm trying to put my shirt away and I never hit stop. Oh my god, I'm a dunce. I could have did something and not even known it on camera. That would you know what? Let me thank one more person. Probably one of the most important Google Glass family members that we have that has always always been there for me. Always been there for me. Jen Vor 
Jen Vargas. Sorry, Jen, I'm sleepy. Jen Var Vargas. Vargas from Central Florida Top 5. Check out her website, uh, Orlando United. Also, she does all this work. But check out Central Florida Top 5, Jen Vargas. Because of her and my son, those two people really, really went above and beyond of taking care of me this trip. Those two were my babysitters this time. Those two were my babysitters. Peace again. This time, I'm touching the phone.